Okay, hey guys, um, today I'm going to do my um, empties video for, I don't know, we're just going to say it. it's um, September's, but it's from whenever I did the last one till now. Um, sorry it's been a while since I've made a video, at least a beauty type related video anyway. Things have been crazy around here. Um, I'm trying to get a promotion at work, so they've wanted me to do like all kinds of crap, so it's just taking a lot of time. But, um, I'm going to do a couple of videos today, um, so you'll have to excuse the, you know, it's casual, I'm, some, I'm supposed to be cleaning the house, but this is more fun. So, um, like I said, it's my empty video, so we're just going to get right to it. I have quite a bit of stuff, because, like I said, I've been not done one in a little while. So, um, first couple of things I have, or for at least this one for sure, I know I've, I've showed these before, I had a whole bunch of them. These are these simple wipes. They're just the, you know, everybody's familiar with this brand, I guess. It's got no chemicals, artificial perfumes. They're just real plain um, face wipes. I don't really care for them. Um, I use them mostly to clean my hands off with and that kind of thing. Um, they do not really get your makeup off that well. So I wouldn't, I'm not going to purchase those. I think, and I think you won't see those again. Because I think that's all of them. Unless there's another empty one in here. Um, I did get these Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. Um, these, again, are real popular. Everybody knows about these. Um, I like them okay. Um, I can't remember. They dried out, of course. Anything I ever get with one of these tear things, I mess it up and it dries out. Um, they're all right. I wasn't thrilled either way. My favorite are still the... Um, Walgreens brand that are the equivalent to the Pons, and sometime I'm going to try the Pons brand, but these are alright. I mean, they're not, I wasn't thrilled, and I wasn't really, you know, I didn't hate them or anything, so, um, if I would purchase them again, you know, yeah, um, these actually came from, my boyfriend brought them home, um, we do these sales at work where, um, we have to sell so many of an item, or at least one or two, and they hadn't sold any, so he brought these home to me, and that's, that's how those came about. Um, so they're okay. Nothing woohoo. Um, I'll try to leave the samples for the end in case people don't like to watch those. You know, I like samples, but whatever. Um, my next thing is this Garnier uh, Triple Nutrition. This is the, um, like the conditioning treatment. And I think the shampoo was in my last empties. Um, I like this much better than I like the um, conditioner. Um, one of the reasons my hair is up like this today is because I used the conditioner today and it's like it wouldn't rinse out. And my hair was really like, like it's still in there. So I probably will just use that for shaving my legs now. Because um, if you didn't know, Conditioner is really good at giving you a nice smooth shave, um, you know, for the ones that you're not going to use in your hair because you just didn't like them. But this triple treatment thing, I liked it. Um, there's a little bit left where it's been sitting in this thing, but you can't hardly get that out. So, um, <clears throat> yes, I would purchase this again. Like I said before, though, I like the L'Oreal treatment in the pink. So I probably would buy that before I bought this, but it was pretty good stuff, and it smells really good. Um, I used that my Garnier, it's Clean Plus, it's the Blackhead Eliminating Scrub for oily skin, and it's um, like the charcoal kind. This was okay. Um, I wasn't really thrilled with it. It didn't, I did not see that it really unclogged my pores or cleared my complexion or anything like that. Um, I have blackheads around my nose pretty bad, um, and it did nothing for those. Um, really the scrubbies in here, I don't know if there's enough left for you to see. You can maybe see some on the top. Um, they're so tiny. They're like little grains of sand, and they're not really abrasive enough, I don't think, to really be a scrub. So this is more like a face wash. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this again. I didn't really care for it. It didn't really have a weird smell or anything, but I just didn't. It didn't do what they said it was going to do. Um, I finished my Michael Todd Honey and Oat Gentle Pore Cleanser. Um, 
I've said it before, I love this cleanser. This is my favorite thing that they make. Like, you know, in all. Um, this pump was horrible, though. This is the first time I think I've got the real full size. I've had several of the travel um, sizes. This pump was awful, but now... Apparently, I wasn't the only one to have problems with it because they've now turned it to a flip-top pump, like a, you just pour it. Um, but it, when it goes down, it doesn't come back up very fast at all. So you're like sitting there waiting. <laughs> but um, I really like the way this stuff smells. Um, it's like a yellowy consistent, you know, it's like a gel. But it will melt your makeup off. Like you don't even have to scrub. You just do it in your face and rinse and your makeup is gone. Um... This stuff is kind of expensive. It's like $25 a bottle. Um, so I don't get it very often, but I would totally suggest it. If you're going to try anything from Michael Todd, try this. You won't be disappointed. And I will repurchase that. I'll break down and spend the $25 bucks at some point. Um, I used up a couple of, let's see, one, two, three. I used up a couple, three foundations this month. So... I'll do those real quick. Um, I used up my... It's gross. I'm sorry. It just got a mess in there. I don't know. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. Um, and my color was 810, which is going to be a light one. It's classic ivory. Um, and that's what it looks like. Nasty. But um, I got this because everybody was raving about it. They said it was great. It's kind of, it says three in one. It's got your, supposed to be kind of like a primer, foundation, and a um, sunscreen all in one. I didn't like it by itself. It moves around on your face. It doesn't ever set, so if you touch your face, it kind of like shifts, and I, I can't stand that. I did like the color okay. Um, the pump was great. It's just the consistency of it. It, you know, even when I put a powder on it, it didn't. It didn't stay, and which is crazy because it says that it's got a primer in it, you know, so it'll stay on your skin, but, no, and it says shine free. It was pretty, you know, that's pretty accurate, but I wouldn't repurchase this again. I had to mix it with other stuff to use it. That's why I finally got rid of it. I've had it for a little while, um, and it actually expired this month, so I guess that was good that I managed to get through it. I used my Wet n Wild, this is the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation, and it is in the color Fair, so that's what it looks like, and this, you know, um, I got this just to see, just to try it, um, it's, uh, I think I got this at, like, CVS or something, but, um, it's real cheap, it's like $2.99 or something, and, uh, it came with a powder. I used the powder up quite a long time ago because it was like a little bitty, tiny powder. Um, this worked okay. What I, again, I would mix this one and the, I threw it away already. This one and the CoverGirl mixed together worked pretty good. Um, you know, because this one is, this one was thicker and it stayed where you put it. But I didn't really like it by itself either. It was too light. So I mixed it with the other one and we were good to go. The last foundation I used up is this Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. This is this came in a little kit I got for Christmas. Um, sorry, all of my stuff is just so dirty, but I can't I can't justify washing trash before I show it to you. But um, this one was okay. It this has a very um, it's a really weird consistency. It's like a uh, kind of like a gel, but it's like a powdery gel. Uh, that doesn't make sense. But it's if you've used it, you know what I'm talking about. It's got a very, like, it's almost powdery, but it's very gel. And it does a similar thing to that cover girl where you have to be careful it'll move around your face. Um, this one, this, this one in this brown tube is not my favorite from Tarte. I can use it. The color is awesome. I'm in fair in Tarte. Um, this is the best color match to my skin I've ever found, including, um, I have the, let me right here, I have the Makeup Forever, you know, and it is in color 25, which is one of their light colors, too. It does, this matches better than this Makeup Forever stuff does. Um, 
my favorite in this is the uh, tinted moisturizer. It, I can't, they've changed the name of it so many times. It's the one in the clear. The tube is see-through, and the bottom has like a wooden, um, you know, stopper on it, and it's a squeeze tube. That that one is really good. This one, mm, not so much. I probably, I definitely wouldn't repurchase this. Um, I think too, my skin is too dry for it uh, because the way it it um, dries is is very powdery. So this was not. It wasn't, there wasn't anything horrible about it. It just didn't work for my skin tone, or my skin type, I guess is what we'll say. Um, this is not empty. I bought this forever ago, and I was cleaning out my drawers, and I realized it expired in 2013. So, I just put it in, you know, my thing to get rid of it. Um, this is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Skin Perfecting Primer. And it is just a silicone -y looking primer. You can see it. It's like that, that you know. It kind of, it feels a lot like the um, Smashbox 24-hour uh, photo ready primer that comes in the black and clear pump. It feels a lot like that. It's very similar. Um, this was good. It was, it was fairly cheap. Only, I'd say it was $5 or less. Hard candy. Um, I wear their... Um, concealer is great, um, their Glamouflage, but I was just wanting to try this because I'd heard a couple people say they liked it, and I did. Um, what happened, the reason it expired is just because I don't wear primer, hardly ever. Um, so, it just didn't get used very much. I mean, I used probably, it's probably like here, so I might, I might have used like half or a little less than half. And I hate that because it's a waste of money. But um, I would repurchase this uh, for a primer if I used primer. Because um, there wasn't anything wrong with it. It worked really well. I just, I'm not a primer person. That's one extra step that I just, too many steps to do. I'm a simple, simple girl. Um, the next thing I used was, it's a body wash. And it's from Crabtree and Evelyn. And it's the Iris Smell. And it's in this little bottle. Um, I got this at TJ Maxx because um, I liked the way it smelled. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it's, it, I don't know that it smells real, ooh. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sure, you know, most people know what irises smell like. To me, it's just a very clean, not too flowery smell. I really liked it. The product was great. It foamed up, like, awesome. The only problem is with the bottle. And maybe when you buy stuff from the regular store, it's not in bottles like this. Um, it's really hard to squeeze because it's a tiny square. You can't, like, squeeze it like that. Um, I eventually just took off the top and, you know, put it on there. So, um, it just smells really good. I would suggest this if they have it in the regular store. Um, TJ Maxx, I get a lot of stuff from there a really great place to find um, stuff you wouldn't normally pick up because it's cheaper than, you know, buying it at the regular store so you can take kind of, you can take a leap and try stuff. And I've had a lot of stuff from there I've liked. I've had stuff I've really hated, but, you know, not, not very much. The next thing, the last, yeah, the last full size thing I have is this e.l.f. eye primer and liner sealer. Okay, this is another thing that is not empty. I mean, it's not even hardly used. If I knew somebody, well, no, because you can't really give concealers to people. I mean, that's just kind of gross. And this is a, this is just an eyelid sealer. Um, it drips on me. Um, you can tell I never really used that part. I got it for the concealer just to try. It smells funny. I've never tried an e.l.f. concealer before um, or a primer from e.l.f. I was going to put it under my eyes. It didn't work at all. It's, I don't know, it's really like dry and I have to, you can see, I have to like really press down to, to put it on a hand and the reason I got it was because of this color. This peachy color is supposed to be good for covering up dark circles. Well you can't press that hard <laughs> underneath your eye for one and then if you're going to put it on your hand and put it on your face, well 
it's just, you know, it didn't come, once you got it on your hand, you couldn't get it off because not enough product came off to put on your face. So, that was just a fail, an epic fail on that one. Um, and no, I would not purchase that again. Never, never. Um, the rest I have are samples, so just be warned in case you don't like samples, that's what's coming up. Um, I have these Garnier samples, and I know you've seen the shampoo or conditioner like this before in my samples. Um, I did use one of the Damage Erase. Um, I like their treatment. Um, I'm not, the shampoo is okay. This one, these two smelled a little different than nor your normal Garnier. Um, they're alright. I have a couple more samples of those, so you might see them again. Um, you've seen this before. Um, this is a Bouncing Daily Exfoliator from Garnier. Um, this one's okay. I like this one better than the charcoal one. Um, just because it does have a little bit of exfoliation in it, but it has more soapy stuff too. Um, it's a daily, it's a cleanser. They should basically just call it a cleanser, because um, that's what it is. It's got the same kind of really fine beads in it. Um, so, my nose is all stuffed up. Allergies have been horrible around here. I'm just going to hold these up together, and I'm sorry, there's there's hair in there. Um, I have the each one, they came in a three-pack, the shampoo, the conditioner, and the treatment for this L'Oreal color vibrancy kind, and I think you saw either, there's hair everywhere, the shampoo or the conditioner or something in my last one. Um, like I said, they do really well with their treatments, not so much with their shampoo and conditioner. So, if you want to try something from them, try one of the treatments, um, because you will not be disappointed, and you may be disappointed with the conditioner and the shampoo. Uh, I went through my last little baby sample of this Regenerous Moisturizer. I love this stuff. I love it so much that I bought the big one. So, I would recommend this. Now, I always recommend things with a disclaimer. I don't have a lot of wrinkles. Um... And I don't know that it's going to, like, reverse any wrinkles. But this is the, one of the best moisturizers. And kind of, like, I almost use it as a primer, too, now. It's like a moisturizer primer type of thing. It makes your skin so soft. Um, and it smells really good. It's, it's a very soft, subtle smell. Um, and it does not irritate my skin. So I love this stuff. It's about $25. It is worth the $25. It is so much better than the Michael Todd, um, like, face cream. So much better. And for a quarter of the price. Even less than a quarter of the price. So, my last thing is another three-pack. And then this is the Nexus. It's the Vibrancy Conditioner, Shampoo, and Primer Wash. I didn't use this because I really didn't know what it was for. There was no explanation with the package it came in. So, I was not really into that. I did like the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, they worked really well. They left my hair soft and it was nice and they smelled good. This, however, I know this is this is trivial. This is probably the worst sample packaging that I've ever encountered. You couldn't get them apart, for one, like, unless you have some, like, real, you know, real scissors. And I don't keep, I just keep the little bitty tiny scissors in my bathroom. Couldn't get it apart. The top folds down like this, so you can squirt it out. Well, it's really hard to squeeze and hold and squirt and hold this thing back and squirt it out. Um, like especially when you're showering, it's all slippery. Um, but this is this packaging is horrible. And I think I have one more of these. And probably what I'll do is I will get my big scissors out and hack them to pieces before um, I try to use them. So no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't purchase that. Nexus is way too expensive. I have a stockpile of shampoo. Um, so, that's all for that. That's all my empties. Um, hopefully, you know, I will try to get my videos in a more regular, um, kind of, you know, but I work weird hours. I work retail, so I work weird hours. I don't like to record when I have a bunch of people at the house, um, so it's kind of a weird, you know, a weird schedule. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned, just, you know, ask me. I don't have any problem answering questions. Um, 
just trying to look around, make sure I don't forget anything. I think I'm good. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks.